guys. Angie Bell's my fairy treasures. Okay, just a second. All right, perfect. I already had to start this video over once because it was a damn mess, so. I fumbled around for like three minutes. I'm like, okay, nobody wants to see that for three minutes. So anyway, you guys, this is a Dollar Tree haul and it's a crafty haul. So Crafter Square, you guys, after you're done watching this video, run to Dollar Tree and run to the Crafter Square. They have oh, so much crafty goodiness. It's not even funny. Okay, but I'm gonna show you a couple things real quick before I get to the crafty goodness. It's also crafts. Um, it's my DIY stuff. Okay, I picked up uh, one, two, three. I picked up four of these. I already have, I'm already in the midst of making one of them. But they're uh, the Valentine Hearts. These are the bigger ones and they're found in the Valentine section, not the craft section. So they're really nice and big. Aren't those fabulous? So I just did a rag wreath. If you guys wanna see my rag wreath that I made out of um, the smaller version of the Dollar Tree hearts, wire frame hearts, go on to my, what? Go on to my Facebook and you'll see that on my Facebook, um, how, how that was done. Also, if you go into, um, and the link is below, you can go to my Facebook links below and also Facebook to the, my group, um, our, uh, magical little place. Um, it's also in that too. And then while you're there, join the group. And you can post your creations, craftiness, whatever you do in there. Okay, so these are fabulous. I will make another rag wreath with these. I'm also going to make a coffee filter wreath with these too. I'm making these not just for Valentine's Day. I'm making them to put in my bedroom. And I, since I'm using coffee filters and I'm making a I'm, coffee filter wreath and then making a rag wreath, I use like real natural colors. So it's like real French country looking. So, because that's what my bedroom is, French country. Um, that's why I'm making them. I'm going to leave my heart wreaths up all year round. Um, this is the smaller version. I bought four of these also. Oh, there's the fourth of that one. I bought four of these. I don't know where they're all at, but one I used and two other are somewhere else. But this is the smaller one. And I was happy just to get the smaller one. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. And I was happy just to have the smaller one. But then I seen the bigger one. The smaller ones are in the craft section. They have these all year round. The larger ones, like I said, are in the Valentine section. Ooh. And this is the what the size that I did the rag wreath. Because I, I have a little small section. I needed something there in my bedroom. And I was able to do the rag wreath, the French country style rag wreath with this. Okay. Um, Olivia's Romantic Home. She showed how to make, this was so cool. How to make like a um, old looking wired or just an old metal gate out of these. Okay. Let me come back a little bit. Oh, so you can see. They're these. They're these little trellises. Okay. So she took two trellises and put them together. Like she took the set. Okay. She had, this is the first one and this is the second one. And she wired these two together. And then she painted them. I think she did them white. I'm going to do mine white. I think she did. And then she did something else with a little, one of those French metal buckets and made it into a flower pot on the bottom. And then anyway, this will be, I'm in the middle of doing my first one. Um, it'll be a video. So I will come back and make a video about how exactly how I, how she, well, my version of what I saw her do. Then before I saw her do that, I had thought about this. I wanted to make like an old looking, um, window or even an old gate so this could be an old window or an old gate and so i picked up a bunch of these a crap load i can't even tell you how many maybe eight of them because you need two two of each of them i may have picked up tanks you need two of each so i could see myself making five different ones of these putting some in my bathroom and then some in my bedroom for that french country look but anyway taking these look how cool the scrolls are and it's their plastic a thick plastic so they're easy to work with but I just created something where I took two of these glued them together put them on a board that I distressed anyway it turned out and looks like an old window like an old um, windows that are made out of like in the, in the long time ago before they had glass the windows would open up and they're wood wood shutters um, but then they might have iron workings on them you know on the windows so that's what it looks like it looks like an old wooden iron window or it looks like an old gate so 
I bought a bunch of those. I will be doing a um, video on that. And that video will probably be today. So, okay, if not tomorrow. I'm doing it today, but I don't know, you know, it may get out by tomorrow. Because I gotta also, you know, get this Dollar Tree video out. Okay. Now, um, this is what they look like when they're painted white. I used white, the brand Rust-Oleum. It's a built-in primer paint, which I love. And um, I just keep two or three bottles at a time. Up time so that's what i'm talking about so i'm gonna i put these two together did i go like this or did i go like no i went like this and these got glued onto that distress board which i'm gonna teach you how to make that board you make that out of dollar tree signs it's a fun it's a really cool um it's a really cool diy really pretty um if you make with this if you if you're gonna make that you need two of these so buy two of them plus one more buy three because when you get to the bottom you need a couple of extras see how i cut the pieces out you're going to need three extra pieces or two extra pieces from another one so pick up three of them so that you can cut them up like this i just wanted to show you you'll also end up cutting some of them up for pieces and this makes you think of a whole bunch of other diys doesn't it you could take these and put these distress a canvas and then put these on a canvas and that could be artwork also I just thought of that as I was, oh, that'd be fabulous. Okay, so pick up three of these if you want to make one of the, um, one of these, um, windows, these with the, with an iron working little gate thing on the window. Um, also for this pick up, did I use two or three? I use three. You know the long Valentine signs? They have them every. They have them for every season. The longest ones they have, they're like this. Pick up three of those, okay? And then you'll be able to. I'm trying to think if I could use two or if I use three. Well, I have one made over there now. I use three, and I'll teach you how to glue all three of those together. Distress that. That'll be your wooden shutter, and then this is the. This represents the iron gates. Okay. If you're interested in making something like that. If you do, uh, if you decorate country, if you decorate French country, I think wood and metal or iron goes with a lot of stuff. You could even go with a modern house, in my opinion, because you're working with, you know, you're working with wood, you're working with iron or something that looks like iron or steel. So, okay, so let me put all this down on the ground. This is a lot. Okay, just a second, guys. I got to put this down. I'll be back. That was a lot. That was a lot, and that was a lot of explaining. <laughs> oh, this is good, you guys. Oh, I'm drinking for one the mug. Is this gorgeous? This is like some mug I got at like at a pottery place. I picked up five of these big boys. They have them in red here, then the brown, and then a blue. Hobby Lobby had these. They were ten dollars. This was like last year, I think. And I think it was in the spring section. Anyway, they were 10 bucks, but they were 50% off. You know, like every other week, they're 40 or 50% off. Their seasonal stuff is. So I picked them up for $5 a piece. These things went quick. I picked up like two, and I was like, I love these. I went to pick up three more the next day. They only had three or four left, so. It's like anything. When you see it, get it. Especially if you can get it for a good price. Okay. Let's get to this crafter square. I don't even know the words for it, okay, you guys? The stuff that they have right now that they're getting in is this kind of stuff. Tim Holtz. They're very Tim Holtzy. Some of the stuff is stuff that you get at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, and you'll pay three or four or five dollars for each one of these. Not a dollar. Okay. So let's you know, I'm just gonna pick it up out of the bag. Hopefully I have, because I bought, you know, you know, I bought triples and quadruples of everything I got. So, um, we'll see. Okay. I picked up three of these. I might have gotten more. We'll see as we go along in the bag. Okay. These are so Tim Holtz. Oh, I just love them. 
I went back a second time and I didn't see these the second time I went because I meant to pick up more of these. But look at them. Isn't that fabulous? Doesn't that look so Tim Holtz? If you're doing like a junk journal or even an art journaling, if you're making art cards, these would be so cool on the front of a junk journal or even on a junk journal page, tags, or, um, art cards, ATCs, fabulous. And they say on them, love, wish, forgive, and cherish. And then these are go in the corners. So if you had an, uh, a junk journal you were doing or an art journal <coughs> on the page or the cover, these could go on the corners. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, so right now I have three of these. I really want more of these because this is a ridiculous price. Stuff like this, Tim, this is very Tim Holtz. This would cost you three or four dollars a piece. So, okay. But when I was there, I went back a second time yesterday, spent 25 more dollars. All right, all right, I had already spent $50 originally. I had no business going back there. Okay, but I saw someone do a video and then, um, I had missed some stuff, so I had to go back. Okay, I picked up, I think, three of these. Let me just... Oh, remember I said I wish I would have picked up more? Okay, here's another one. There's four. All right, so let's count those up as we go along. Okay, I know I picked up more than one of each of these, but I she put everything in the bag and it's everywhere. Okay, look at these. These are, these are all stickers. Do these look like stickers? Hell no, they don't look like stickers. Look, they look like metal and then the stones and their hearts. Aren't these fabulous? Again, same thing. Look how cool. Isn't that fabulous? And for all the stuff I've already described with the first things, you can do all use all that for that. Also, for um, any of your Finnebar art or your um, your Finnebar type of art, that would be awesome, too. If you know what Finnebar is, check that out because you'll love it. Um, or I do some stuff called, um, I think I created the damn name of it. <laughs> what is it? It'll come to me. But it's another name for Finnebar type style art. Okay, um, next. Is this the same one? Okay, this is another one of those that we just saw. Okay. Um, these are cool. Let me see, I don't have another one right in front of me, but I'll run into another one, I'm sure. Okay, these are so cool. These are all type of like, um, like gate latches. Or you can use these for latches on your books. Or pages. Or art cards. Just... Isn't that just so Tim Holtz? It's unbelievable is what it is. It's unbelievable is what it is. I'm going to run into more of that stuff here in just a second. But this is what I was talking about. This stuff is crazy. Crazy. This is at, um, that this is at Dollar Tree. Okay, just a second, you guys. I am going to try to semi-organized myself, which I should have done before I got on this damn video. Sorry. Okay, here's um, two more of these. Okay, perfect. Two more of the set of crosses. Those are just... Ugh. Okay, and then I bought three of these. Oh, look at these. It's keys and locks. Yes, ma'am. Keys and locks what the hell these are fabulous now I think in another bag I have more of all this because I went back a second time and got a couple more of each and then I do have already seen this one now this ones that look like metal are not totally new they had some other ones and I Bought a ton of those ones too, and I used them in all of my mixed media, my art, all of that. Um, in my art journal, everything. Um, but it didn't have the gemstones, the gemstones on there. I don't know if I showed this one. I don't think this is a different style. I didn't show this one. So I got two of this one, two or three. I probably got three. 
I think I took three of everything at first. Look how cool those look. Aren't those fabulous? I don't know what to say about that. Okay, and then they had stamps. Some killer stamps. There's one set of stamps I didn't buy, and I probably should have got them. I don't know why. I thought about what I needed them for after I got home, so I'll probably go back. Um, they were, um, they had, uh, dream catchers on them and feathers and stuff. They're really, really small. I think that's why I didn't really understand what I was going to use those for. Anyway, I can use these in my art, my art journaling, my mixed media. Look how fabulous it is. Fabulous for cards. Look at these stamps. Look how good these birds are done. You guys know this would have been like a five or six dollar stick. That's so Tim Holtz right there. And so is this. These are very Tim Holtz or Andy Skinner. He's another one that has this style. Look how beautiful these butterflies are. Absolutely phenomenal. And I love that they have the dragonfly in there. Look at the dragonfly. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I picked up both of those. Can you believe the kind of stuff? I, w I saw one person haul this stuff, and I think it was, um, who would I see haul this first? I've seen two people now. Um, Pamela's World. Hey, Pamela. i seen Pamela's World. I think she was the first one I saw haul it. And then oh, there was one other person after that. Actually, when I saw the second person haul it, I had already hauled it. I just hadn't done the video yet. Okay. These are fabulous. Are they the same? You say magic? Magic. Okay, so I got two of these. I probably picked up three. Let me just see. Yeah, I have three. These. What are these? Laser cut wooden pieces? Yeah. Okay, you guys, they were selling laser cut wooden pieces like this at, um, <coughs> I'm going to open it up. At Michael's a couple years ago, they had a whole section. It was Tim Holtz. Uh, let me tell you, these little wooden pieces like this were not a dollar. And I think you're getting, how many do you get in a pack? Let me see, one, two, three. I think you get three in a pack. I thought you got five, but you get three in a pack. Okay, so this says magic. Look how cool that is. Let me see if I can put this, give it a white backing so you can see better. This would be so good for my Fenibar art. Oh, I can't wait to use that in my Fenibar art. Salvaged art. That's why I also call it salvaged art. It's when you take a bunch of stuff like this and beads and all kinds of stuff and you collage it all together on a, like a piece of canvas or on maybe a back of like one of those Dollar Tree signs and you paint it all white with like gesso and then you use sprays and you spray all over it and it just comes out phenomenal. That's what I call Fenibar art or um, salvaged art. I've done a lot of it and I haven't done it lately but I'm getting ready to do a lot this year because I want to do that. I love that artwork. Okay this one is the same but it says inspire and I have bought three of these. Let me see if I can find all three at one time. I found two of them. Here's the third one. Okay so here's the three of these. And this says Inspire. Aren't, isn't that fabulous? So the two words that I love was Inspire and Magic. Because I totally believe in magic and I totally believe in inspiring people. So I think if you're an artist, you're very magical. Because you're taking something or a crafter. There was nothing there before and now you just created something that was not, in, that, that was not um, a part of Earth before. So, that's magical. Okay, so I picked up three of these, maybe four, and I actually got a whole other set of these. I think I picked up six all together in another haul. I picked up another three, so I have six of these all together. Look at these. Okay, I picked three right here. These are wooden, look how fabulous those are. They're wooden clocks, the laser cut clocks. Oh, these are gonna look so good. I'll open the pack. This is going to look so good in my, um, 
salvaged art or my Finnebar art. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And these are going to go right into some storage containers that have, <coughs> that have little sections. I like my stuff like this to be organized. So it's two of each one. So I just took them out so you can see. So there's that one. Aren't these so cool? Oh. And I am obsessed with watch faces and clocks. Especially if they look vintage. I don't know what to say, okay? This kind of stuff was at Michael's, and you would have paid $5 at least for each one of those. I bought three for less than one at Michael's when they had that up a few years ago. Okay, I think it was last year. Two, I think it was like two years ago. Okay, I got two or three of these. Let me just see. Three. Yeah, three of these. Okay, so three. And these are um, dragonflies. Now, I really wasn't, I think it's a bee. I wasn't that impressed by the way this bee looked, but I love the dragonflies, so that's why I got it. I'm going to open it up so you guys can see. Okay, so let me show you the dragonflies. I think I could show you those um, those metal-looking vintage -y stickers well through the plastic, but... Um, these wooden pieces aren't showing up that good. There's still one thing I'm missing, and I was looking for it. Um, Stephanie, Stephanie Garrett. Hey, girl. That's who I saw. She, I had already gone and gotten my stuff, but she got her video up before I did. And um, she had gotten one or two other things that I haven't seen yet, so... I need to stop going to Dollar Tree because every time I go, I will spend money because this stuff is ridiculously priced. Okay, so there is the dragonfly. I'm going to put it on something white. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, here's the other one. Flip and love this. And then this is the B. I think this, I don't know. I think it looks kind of hokey. But in my um, salvaged art, you just need texture and stuff. So this could be a piece I just throw in the background for texture. You can barely even tell what the hell it is. See, look. Is that a B? I don't know. I don't really like that one that much. But anyway, I <laughs> the dragonflies. They should have just done three dragonflies. Anyway. I'm not really complaining. Um, this was an insanely good deal. Oh, I could not believe it. Okay, and then, so yeah, I did get... What is this? Did I open this up already? No. Why did I get this? Okay, there's one that I got that I'm really not liking it at all. So, I'm going to be taking this one back when I go back sometime. Anyway, um, I want to show you because they're really ugly. They're kind of like that one in the middle that I didn't like. Anyway, let's not keep going on. These are the butterflies. I picked up three of these. Aren't those fabulous, these butterflies? I'll open those up. I know I have three of the butterflies. They're probably in another bag. And you guys, this stuff will go so quickly. Some other crazy crafter like me will come across it and pick up tons like I did. So, that's why I just try to take advantage of this situation and buy as much as I could because I just know whatever I, you know, it's not going to be there to be going back and forth to get it. Okay, this is what the butterfly looks like. Fabulous. This could be cool on cards. This could be good in so much stuff. This could help decorate little DIYs. So much stuff. Look how cool these are.
love. Absolutely love. Okay. I'll be going back this evening because um, I do want to get a couple more of these if they have them. Because for my, um, especially for my junk journals, for the covers. Also, because um, I want to trade that one in. That I think is smugly. Anyway. Okay, um, this is another one. I've got two or three of these. This is that one that I already had shown you. Fabulous. Love it. Just love it. Oh. Okay, this is something else in the crafter section. Look at these gorgeous butterflies. Definitely good for my mixed media, my art journals, all of that. Look how gorgeous. These are great for a damn wall. Around a mirror, in a DIY. So many things. Look how gorgeous those are. Oh. And their inspirational ideas also on how to color if you want to draw your own butterflies. I've looked at um, these butterflies and use these as like an idea of how to draw a butterfly and also how the colorization and just some decorative ideas for that. So anyway, um, let me see what else is in this bag. Okay, I have some Valentine stuff. I'm probably going to run into some more of that crafty stuff here in a second. Okay, so I picked up one two, three. I think I picked up one or two of these before, but now I have a ton. These wooden hearts. These are fabulous. You get five in a pack. Oh, no, you get eight? You used to get five. You get eight. Oh, my God. I bought three packs plus I bought another couple of them. So that's a lot of hearts. Anyway, look how cool these are, these wooden hearts. That's how thick they are. You get eight. It said originally five, and they marked the five out and put eight for a dollar. That is it's fabulous. Um, I want to do so many things with these. I want to do black and white checks on these so they look very McKinsey Child, those type of checks. Um, also, uh, and they'd be great for um, to do that and hang on your Christmas tree too. But also for East, for um, Valentine's or just all year round. Also, I saw a girl take a piece like this, a wooden heart, a wooden... I think she actually cut her heart out of a piece of cardboard. But you can use this wooden one and she covered the whole thing with buttons fabulous and what do you do with it whatever you want to do with it you can put it in a tear tray with a bunch of other stuff you can hang it in your christmas tree you can hang it on your valentine's tree you can put it wherever you guys you can just oh i love it love it okay and then i already picked up one or two packs of these i picked up another one so i get two or one i don't know but i already had picked up a pack of these of these bunnies wooden bunnies and you get five eight damn you get a lot in these so you get eight Again, what I wanted to do with these is I wanted to do um, the black and white checks. So to have black and white check, McKinsey child style um, bunnies. So we'll do that on video. That'll be a fun video to do. Just relaxing, sitting there painting little wooden bunnies and hearts. Um, now, uh, our green acres, let me make sure my camera's still going. Yeah, it is. Our Green Acres, I love her channel, you guys. You guys go check her out. I, I'll list her again below. She also has a Facebook group. Go join her Facebook group. She just did, and I've done fabric hearts for a long time. I've done a lot of fabric hearts, but she just kind of reminded me to do the fabric hearts again. I love them. And she then took a stencil. Um, she, we have the same stencils. And I had these stencils. I've had them for years. They're very Parisian. They'll say Paris on them and France and just, just very Parisian type of stencils. And she stenciled the fabric. After she cut the heart shape out, she stenciled that French type of um, stencil, whether it was Paris or France or it was whatever it was, onto the heart and then made her hearts out of it. And she did it on a real, like um, if you took like a white sheet and dipped it in coffee, so it looks real French country or whatever. So she used um, a lot of these things I'm going to show you as her pattern. So this is a set of three hearts. Let's just open it. <coughs> so I like that these hearts are kind of, look how they're kind of off. Cool, huh? These are going to make some cool fabric hearts. So I got, and it comes with three different ones. You get three different sizes. So I got these for patterns. And you could take these and then um, 
trace these off onto some cardstock or um, cardboard and cut them out and then still use these if you want to craft with these also so how cute would it be to take these um, first make your pattern so you have a pattern after this but then cover this whole thing in buttons so flipping cute oh oh one more you get four you get the smaller one too wait maybe there was another one wait a minute you guys there's even a smaller one okay wait a minute is this the same size? Do you get two of each? Just a second. Oh, okay. You get one of these of the big ones, okay? Then you get two of the medium-sized ones. That's why everything was... I'm like, what's dropping? You get two, and then you get two of the smaller ones. So. Or you can just use these hearts the way they are. Because they're super cute. I don't know why I keep dropping these hearts. Get back in there. Okay. I am just making a mess. Okay, here's another. Um, this is a 12 piece of foam hearts. I just like the shape. Also, I figured I can maybe something with the foam hearts at some time, but really right now it's just the pattern. So, and they have pink, red, and blue in there. There's the purple one. Pink, red, pink, red, and purple. But this size is a really good size. It's just a very uniform shaped heart. So I thought that would be another one. I'm going to be making these fabric hearts. And I will do um, a DIY on those. And then look at this. These are plates. And I didn't get them for the plates whatsoever. There's six pieces. I could care less. I did it for the shape. Again, another size heart. So these are all going to be patterns for my fabric hearts. And who knows, I can end up doing other stuff with them too. But that's how I'm seeing it right now. Okay, is that everything that was in this bag? This was a big bag of stuff, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. You guys, get your coffee and everything because this is going to be a long video. I still got more stuff on the ground. But I wanted to make it a long video because... Um, Because um, this stuff is time sensitive. Like, this is not going to, all this wooden stuff and all these cool stickers, which aren't stickers, and the stamps, these are not going to be around. This is like Joanne's, Michael's, and Hobby Lobby type of stuff for a dollar. So, um, it's kind of a lot of stuff, but I wanted to show it to you because I just know that this stuff is not going to be here, be, be around for very long at all. Okay. So there's that massive bag. Okay, I went back to Hobby Lobby, or Hobby Lobby, what the hell am I saying? Back to Dollar Tree, because um, I'd seen um, Stephanie Garrett with a couple of things I didn't see. She was still putting stuff out, so it was probably because she hadn't put it all the stuff out. I'll just show you what I went back and doubled up on, or tripled on, <coughs> whatever the hell you call it. Um, oh, I don't think I got these the, originally. See, there was, she, she still was putting things out. So these things I actually did not see. This I did get more, one more of these, which I, you already saw. Um, the heart, these hearts, I didn't get these originally. I think I picked up a couple of them. I'll run into them. I picked up a couple of these. They only had like maybe two of the hearts. Aren't those gorgeous? I didn't get those the first time. So, um, when I went back again, I also picked up another set of keys because, let me just show you, that's why, okay? And then I picked up these three. I didn't pick these up originally, okay? So I got three of these ones. So like I said, she must have still been putting stuff out because, don't these just look like the most beautiful gemstones ever? These are ridiculous. I picked up three of those. Um, I picked up one more of the magic um, wood cutouts. What are they calling them? Laser cutouts. And I picked up, um, oh, this is what I went there to pick up because, um, oh, and here's another Inspire. Okay, we already saw those. Um, 
the watch faces. I knew I'd want some more, so I picked up one more of those watch faces. We went through those already. That's the thing I want to say really quick. You guys, for those people who do videos, some people rush through and really don't show what the hell is going on. You guys, you got to like, you know, put it in here and like hold it steady for a second. And if the light glares on it, open it up. But I mean, show people for a second what the stuff is. That frustrates me when people just go so damn fast. I'm like, okay, can you slow up? I think what happens is, is I think people get stressed because their video is taking a long time. But you guys, you know what? I get I I rarely ever get a a, a um complaint that my video is too damn long. People, you know what they say every time? I every video, people are always like, I love your long videos. I love a long video too because all I do is watch YouTube when I'm you know cleaning or crafting or arting, and then once that video is over, I gotta find another damn video. So I rather just watch a long video than have to keep finding videos. Okay. These are the hearts. I was just opening them up so you can see them. Look. So cool. This is one of the things that Stephanie Garrett had was the hearts, and I didn't see the hearts that first time. But like I said, she was still putting stuff out, so maybe that's why I missed it. Look how fabulous that is. I picked up three of those of the hearts. Okay. Next. This is something I saw Stephanie Garrett and I didn't see this the first time. Look at these. I picked up three of them. Okay. Um, it's an old fashioned telephone, cameras, sewing machine, and something else. I think a projector and a light bulb. All vintage. Okay, you can't even see. That is just blinding. Okay, let me just open this up. This is so Tim Holtz. I mean, this would cost $5. Four or $5. This would not be a dollar. Dollar Tree is killing it. They know what is going on. They're looking at Michael's, Joanne's. They're looking at all the major crafters, and they're copying their stuff, and I love it. Like their style. Look at that. Let me put this behind it. Look how cool. Isn't that fabulous, you guys? Oh my gosh. I'm so using this in my mixed media, my salvage art, my thin bar art. This would be cool to put to do cards with also. How cool would that? To collage a few of these on the front of a card with some type of coffee sty coffee styed coffee stained um cardstock. And then maybe back that up with some um book pages and maybe like a um doily and then put these on there. Okay. Yeah. I was like I'm surprised we don't run into more of those. I think they're fabulous. I might have bought four. There might be another one somewhere in this bag. I'm not sure. Wait, I can tell you right now because they're below this other stuff. Let me see. Three is what I got of that. Okay. Then I've got three of this. Oh, no, two. Look how fabulous this is. Again, this is something else. It's so Tim Holtz, so vintage. Can you guys see this? Let me see if I have to get the package. Okay. Look at all of this. Isn't that so Tim Holtz? Let me take it out of the package. I just don't like how the... I just don't like how it's reflecting on there. Now you can see everything better. Look how cool. You guys are going to be so good at art journals, junk journals, your mixed media, your art, everything, cards. Oh, <laughs> that's what I do lately. When there's like no words, that's what I do now. <clears throat> because there's no words for that. That's just, 
Like I said, all you have to do is stick a Tim Holtz label on there. That's five bucks. Again, look at this. Two of these. This has to be the longest Dollar Tree haul ever. Because I got so much cool craft stuff over there. And I'm opening packages, damn it. I'm opening packages. <laughs> Takes a little more time, but <coughs> it's worth it. Look at this. I don't even know what the heck these are. Are those the front of books? Yeah, these are book covers and books and then the sides of the books. Look at that. A book covers, book, stacked books, and then the side of books. I feel like I should have picked up more of those, but I have two of each of those. I mean, I have just, I, I, I had already spent an obscene amount of money on all this, so I had to calm down, but it was hard. Believe me, I put some back. People are like, what? <laughs> what did you put back? <laughs> Believe me, I only got five of each, okay, of everything, but, okay, y y you gotta calm down or you're gonna, you know. You're going to lose your whole checking account in Dollar Tree. Okay, two of these. I'm getting more excited showing you guys now because I'm seeing how fabulous it is when I'm really, I mean, you know, you're just grabbing when you're in there. Everything you see you like, you're just grabbing. But now I'm really looking at it. Look at those briefcases. What is all of it? A briefcase, a cologne bottle, or oh, their flask, their flask, um, a bottle opener, but all vintage. Okay, I don't know. Oh, maybe this is a coin. I don't know what the hell everything is, but I can tell you what. It's very Tim Holtz, and it's very cool. Oh. Love. People don't talk about steampunk stuff that much anymore, but, oh, this would make steampunk anything really cool. Love it. Or just vintage. Just vintage. It'd be also great for, um, if you're going to do a man's card, it'd be great. It'll be great for your mixed media, your art journals, your junk journals, all that stuff. Because when I see stuff like this, I don't think of just men. This is just that Tim Holtz cool stuff. So, okay. Um... Oh, I ran into, let's talk about books for a minute. I ran into two books. Okay, it says, uh, it says, includes 50 delicious recipes. The coconut oil miracle. Use, na use nature's elixir to lose weight, beautify skin, hair, prevent heart disease, cancer, diabetes, strengthen the immune system. And I believe in all of those things. So let me just repeat some of those things. Strengthens your immune system. Okay, we got a virus going around right now. We need to have our immune system as strong as possible. Prevents heart disease, cancer, diabetes. It's good for your hair, skin, uh, weight loss. And let me explain something of what, what I've done. I don't eat any, um, I don't use any fake oils. Fake oils are um, any of those oils that you see that are clear, um, that are in the grocery store. Canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever. It's all fake. The only, the, the oils I use is I use olive oil, I use coconut oil, and coconut oil is my main one. Also, if I need a lot of oil, I'll use lard. And people think, oh, you're going to clog your eyes. No, you're not. It's a real oil. It's from the fat of meat. You want real oils. All those other oils in that grocery store, canola oil, vegetable oil, all those oils are fake oil. And that's what clogs your arteries. That's what gives you high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and all of that. Change your oil, change your life. I took a class on it when I became an herbalist, and I'm telling you the truth. Change your oil, change your life. Because... The reason you lose weight is because this oil doesn't, because it's natural oil, coconut oil is, it doesn't sit on your body as fat. It, it goes into your system and your body uses it and it just holds on to it until it needs it. Not holds on to fat, it holds on to it needs it for energy, for whatever else your body needs, for your brain. Okay, so get coconut in your oil in your life, replace it with all your other oils. Get coconut oil, olive oil, lard. I, that's only three ones I cook with. Um, there's a couple of other ones, but those are my three main ones. Again, I just talked to you about all of those oils, olive oil. And I guess there's people who take a teaspoon a day of olive oil. You can take a teaspoon a day of coconut oil also. Um, 
and this book is all about the olive oil. I actually cleanse my face with olive oil. I put olive oil on my body after I get out of the bath or while my skin's wet, I pat it on. And then I take coke, and then I take uh, raw organic shea butter and I make it into a mousse. Um, and I put that on my skin on top of that. So yeah, is my skin soft? Yeah, I use it on my face too, the shea butter. I cleanse my face in coconut oil with a hot rag. So you take olive oil, um, I actually infuse the olive oil with herbs, but that's under the process. You can just use olive oil. I keep it by my counter. I put the olive oil on my face, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. I take a hot rag. I take it all off. So it takes off all the makeup or if I have no makeup on, it just cleanses my face and keeps the natural moisture on my skin. Um, and then I use raw organic shea butter. I have a video on that in one of my makeup videos. So you can look below and then I, um, use the raw organic shea butter from my face down, even in my hair. That was a long explanation, but I wanted to share that with you because I think that's so important. And if you get these two books, I'm sure I'm going to learn even more than I know now about these two beautiful oils. Okay. Okay. So these two are at, Do at Dollar Tree. If you can pick these books up, those books are best. I really feel like I should have went back and got more of these. I should go back and get more of these books because you know what? These would be great for giveaways. What a great book for giveaways. What a great book for um, these two books for, um, if someone's into their health, um, for gifts, I mean, two of these together for Christmas birthdays. Oh my God, you guys, that's a great gift. You're giving the gift of health. Um, yeah, that's just, and these are expensive. What were these before? 15, 16 each. Yeah. So that's $30 in books I got for two bucks wealth of knowledge, a wealth of information, and a wealth of stuff for your damn health. Okay. We're almost done. I picked up, okay, a lot of these. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I won't take, well, wait a minute, because some are pink and some are lavender. So just a second. It's almost hard to tell. Okay. These, they had these bottles out last year, but they had like, um, they had like, uh, like starfish on top and things like that. This year, they just have it look like, it looks like almost like a perfume bottle because it has like a perfume bottle top on it. When I seen someone haul these, I was like, yes, ma'am. So I picked up three of each of these. So look how gorgeous that is. Can you see that it's a light, light pink? Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? And look at that top. So um, I'm going to create, I'm creating like a new makeup table and I want to have like a glass tray and I want these to be on there like they're perfume bottles. Aren't they gorgeous? And I probably won't put anything in them. They just look beautiful and just be decorative on there as perfume bottles. So I picked up three pinks. Then this is a real pretty lavender. And normally I, I like pink and like clear, but this lavender was like a lavender pink, not just like a purple, but a lavender pink. And see, it looks so close to the pink ones. I almost thought this was the same. See how they almost look the same? This is like a deeper pink, really. So I picked up three of those. And then I picked up three clear. Aren't those gorgeous? Look at that. And the reason I picked up so many is because, um, I want to put some in my bedroom on a glass tray as like perfume bottles. And then I want to do one, do another set of this on my makeup table. So that's why I picked up quite a few. Okay. Let me just make sure. Two, three. Yeah. Three of each. So. picked up exactly the amount that I wanted because um, I knew these would go quick. They went quick last time and I bought a bunch last time too that had like the, um, like I said, had, they had like ocean things on top. They went quick. So I knew these would go quick. In fact, I went to Dollar Tree a couple days later they were all gone. All they had was like two clear ones. That's it. Okay. I've been on this video. Okay. 49 minutes. Okay. It'll be an hour long. That's a good Dollar Tree haul. Oh, 
Oh, I love that um, that fruit smoothie. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I was drinking. I told you about the mugs. I'm drinking a, such a healthy fruit smoothie. This is frozen, oh, stab myself, frozen mangoes. Mangoes, for some reason right now, don't have that good mango flavor. It's like I buy different brands. I don't know what the hell's going on. So anyway, one day I bought raspberries by accident. I thought they were strawberries. Well, the ra adding the raspberries to the frozen mangoes, frozen raspberries to frozen mangoes, it brings the flavor out in the mangoes. And then you taste the raspberry. So good. So I did that. I did a couple scoops of Greek yogurt, half a banana, almond milk. Sometimes I use coconut milk. And... um. A little bit of agave syrup that's my sugar I use agave syrup to sweeten things or coconut sugar um, and it's divine it tastes so good I try to have one of those in between my meals I try to eat five to six small meals a day and so I try to have those in between my meals and it's good okay I picked up more uh, more than this of these because I also picked up pink ones. I'm going to show you. Let me see what these are. Do I have are these the pink ones? No, these are all teals. Okay. When I originally saw these, these went just as fast. These are right next to those bottles that I think I was calling perfume bottles. <coughs> I picked up four of these. Aren't these fabulous? They had them last year. I only picked up a, I picked up one or two, and I was like, oh, I wish I'd have got more and more colors. So this year, I picked up these, and I picked up pink ones. And then the white ones, I was like, oh, I don't need the white ones. Well, I thought, you idiot, you could do some McKenzie checks on those. How cool would that be? Hearts with the McKenzie checks? So I'm about to get the white ones. They were all gone. Like I said, you guys, that stuff goes. So I picked up four of these. Two I'm going to leave in the Robin's Egg Blue, which I love this Robin's Egg Blue. Look how beautiful this is. Isn't this just good? Aren't they gorgeous? These are great gifts too. Um, I'm going to paint two of them white and then do the McKinsey checks on them. Um, and then leave two Robin Egg Blue. And then I got them in pink too. So I bought quite a few in pink. Um, I picked up two of these. I already have some of these, but these are a new style. Every year they come out with a new style. So I picked up two of these for DIYs. Aren't these fabulous? And I, I'm not going to change them and DIY them. I'll, I'll you know, however I decide to incorporate them in my decor. Flowers and garden. Don't they look so French country? You know, if you did a whole set of these, like two of each, because they have like four different sizes and put them together on a shelf, it would look like you had a whole set of old tin pots from a long time ago. So that could be a set, you know, by, I'm, now that I said that, that would look so good on the top of my refrigerator, wouldn't that? If I have two of each, two of these, two of these, and some of the other ones that they sell in there, they have different sizes. It would look like, a, like you collected a bunch of old um, garden pots. And this one says flower and garden also, and it's a little bit shorter. So how cool would that look on top of your refrigerator, or on a shelf, or even on a coffee, side table? That looks so good. I have more of these though down there too so anyway I say these things like this but I have so much crap you guys like I can't possibly ever decorate with everything I bought <laughs> So what I do is I put things away, I have like a shelf in the garage, and I keep a bunch of stuff on there, decorative stuff. I learned it from temp from uh, Christopher Lull. He said, he goes, he learned it because he was um, a Hollywood, um, he, he did the different uh, sets in Hollywood. He goes, all we have is big, we just have shelves, and we have our stock. And then we go and we change things out, and then you put things back away, and I'm like, oh, it's a good idea. So I have a shelf, and I keep a lot of stuff on there, or a closet of decorative stuff, so that when you want to make a little change or add something, you just go to your little stock, right? So I always thought, oh, that's a good idea. It's another excuse to collect a lot of crap. <laughs> and
And then I went to Universal Studios where they keep all the props. Like he was talking, like a prop closet or a prop shelves. They have a whole warehouse that's props on shelves. So they can change things in and out and, you know, create different, um, you know, different stages and different decors and different... Fabulous. So it's kind of the same thing he's telling you to do, but do it on a smaller scale for your house. Okay. That was a big explanation for some stuff. Okay, is there anything else or was that everything? Okay, I think for this video... Okay, I do want to show you just really quickly. I want to share a couple of things with you guys um, that I got for Christmas. I know that sounds crazy, but they're really cool things. I think you guys should see them. Um, this was the movie A Jingle and Jingle Story. This was a movie that you could stream on Netflix, I think it is. So cute. You guys have to check this out. It's a beautiful story. I won't explain the whole story, but go get them. If you have um, Netflix, go watch Jingle and Jangle. We watched this, I think, Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, me and my husband. It's so good. So good. And um, the little girl and the people who star in it are black. And it's just a really good inclusion type of movie and book. And there's all, all races are in the book or in the movie. Um, so it's very inclusive and it was just really, really good. Beautiful for children too. So get this. It's really a children's book. So my, I saw the movie. My husband got me the children's book. So get this book for your children. It's called The Square Root of Possible. And isn't that just a positive type of... There's so many lessons right there. Dolly Parton, Coat of Many Colors. Again, we're talking about inclusivity, whether you're black, white, native, Mexican, Asian, poor, rich, it doesn't matter. We all matter and we should live in an inclusive society. And this book, The Code of Many Colors, Dolly Parton, and I am a huge fan. I'm not a huge country fan. I like some country music, but I'm not a huge fan. I most like R&B, but Dolly Parton, I love her and I love all her music. And I really love Dolly Parton. But I love her music. I just love her. Um, look at this. I could not believe my husband got me this for Christmas. Okay, this is the, um, Day of the Dead Barbie doll. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Should have prepped this because I thought this box would come. look just the box itself is beautiful. Did you guys see that box? Okay. Wait, look at that box. I like I love the Day of the Dead. I love the whole celebration. It's just celebrating your ancestors. That's what Day of the Dead is. And um it's in the Mexican culture. And I, I am, I love it. I went to a Day of a Dead um, celebration, not this last November, but the November before that because of COVID, or we would have went. It was just down the street from my house. Oh, it was so fun. The food was good. The art was good. The music was good. It was just a fun day. So here's the Day of the Dead, Barbie. Look how beautiful this is. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm trying to figure out the lighting situation. Because I don't want to have to take this out of the thing. Look how beautiful. Look at that dress. Isn't that... I mean, they just did this up. The dress is gorgeous. Sorry I'm not taking it out of the box, but I just don't want to take it out of the box. Oh! Let me just see if I can do her face really close up and see if you guys can see her face. Look how fabulous the face is. The hair. The outfit. Oh, so beautiful. I mean, they just did it up. And then look at the box. The box is like ridiculous. I mean, they, and then the inside of the box. I mean, they really did it up. This is just gorgeous. Good for you, Barbie, for doing the Day of the Dead, a representation. Look at that. Isn't that, look at this art. The box is art also. The doll is art. The box is art. Gorgeous. One last thing and then we're done. 
My husband just bought this for me. This wasn't for Christmas. I don't know where he was at. I think it was at Target or Walmart. You guys, I love um, Trolls. And I love the pink one, of course. <laughs> Isn't this so cute? <gasps> She's huge. Okay, so let me bring her back here. She's absolutely huge. <laughs> I am in love with her. Look how cute she is. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Someone has to get a for, I guess, for Valentine's Day. <gasps> so beautiful. I should know that, huh? He just bought it because he thought it was cute. <coughs> he bought it for me just like last week. And he knows I, I love trolls, especially the pink one. I'm obsessed with the trolls. Oh my God, she's so cute. All right, so that is it. That's all on this long video. <laughs> this video was out of hand. But anyway, a lot of you guys tell me, oh, I love your long video. So I'm glad you like long ones because I just had to, I had to go ahead and show you guys all of the um, stuff I found in the Crafter Square because this is time sensitive. This stuff isn't going to be around, okay, forever. Not at all. This stuff is going to go. So get yourself to, to Dollar Tree today. S go to a couple of Dollar Trees, not just one, to see if they have the stuff. Because, yeah, it's going quick. Um, it's not going to last. And I don't know if they're going to. Hopefully they, um, hopefully they restock on all this wonderful stuff. And this is something that they always have. And they'll build on and they'll come out with new stuff all the time. I'm hoping. So, but anyway, if it was a one-off, at least we got, I got a bunch of it. I think that this is the kind of stuff they're going to keep producing though. I, I, I think because it is the Crafter Square brand. Okay, you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, do something nice for someone today. And remember, my friends, we have more in common than we don't. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.